Alright guys, welcome back to another videos on the filament version 4 learning journey. So I would like to show you several things that I would like to set up before working out, uh, with filaments. Um, especially I will really want to make a update to my Kaido kit. Uh, starter kit about filament, but this is not uh, fully updated yet from the uh, other plugin. So let's set up uh, step by step. So when I working with filament, so there is several things that I really, I really would like to do. So the first one is that I don't really like the amber uh, color. So this is like uh, really uh, make the UI looks very filament. So I usually change this one. So the first one is change this to another color. You can choose any other colors, blue, red or whatever. I use blue and red usually and I always use composer run dev so you will not be repeatedly reload this uh, page uh, once it is saved so you may be changed to cyan and then uh, it should post to be auto reloaded so let's try blue Ah, this is not auto reload. Okay, there's some some other files that we should set up uh, about this one. Okay, let's see. Kaido kit. I forgot. Let's see. Strap. Oh no no no, not this one. There is several files that we should uh set up. I forgot, man. Oh, please wait. Um. Wait a minute. Oh, where is the setup auto reload element HP post run? Yeah, this is <laughs> have to be. Mm. <laughs> yeah, this one. This file fit config the chess. So oh, let's see. Okay. Ah, this one. This one's only uh, reload when there is change in the app CSS and app.js and also change when there is a tailwind change. So based on my Kaido kit, we can go check to where is this file? Fit config. Let's see. Fit. Ah, this one. Ah, this is this one. You should add this refresh path. So whenever there is a new resource, whenever there is a new file about the filament resource or whatever, uh, it should be updated and refreshed. So I think we can do this. Uh, but uh, let's check the filament version 4. Mm, we have this app. Live wire, yeah, live wire is not existed yet because we not use fil uh, live wires. Okay, F filament uh, providers. Okay, yes, this is the correct one. So let's reload and then do some refresh path. Oh, it's not defined. Okay, let's see. Ah, oh, okay, okay. I think something like this and then we have okay it's work okay uh, this is quite important because I do not want to <laughs> reload every change that I created so let's see if we we have this blue then we have this cyan uh, maybe I will use red save and oh why is it not This is not working in filament version 4. Why? Full reload. This is this is supposed to be full reload. Let's see. But this change is not reflected on the mm, why? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, let's open with this one. 
Maybe there needs there is a session or something. Oh come on. No redirection. Hmm. No, what's ah? Yeah, yeah. I think in my kaido I add something else. Hmm. At the minute. Yes, yes, yes. This one. Yes, this one. I think this one needs to be added. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think, I think, I think, I think, yeah, I think this is correct. Uh, you should add this one into the filament. Okay, set filament PHP auto reload it. <laughs> okay, let's see. Google also give recommendations. This is similar. Yeah, this is similar, but uh, Google make a wrong prediction. Nah, this one. You should register hook bridging the gap with the filament. This one. I hope it's still the same. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what file is this then? Uh, well, filament recommendation. Uh, mm -hmm. Where is this register? Admin panel provider. There will be a register function. Let's see. And the Kaido. I already use in the Kaido, guys. Uh, please wait. Mm. Admin panel. Does I set it up here? No, this is not here. Uh, I think app service provider. Yes, uh, it is in the app service provider, so you should use this. Okay. Okay, this one. So, 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 so. I think filament view then blade. At some point when working with VS Code, <laughs> I feel it is better uh, to work with PHP Storm about these parts, but yeah, I feel it's okay. Uh, but if you're working in, in PHP Storm, I think it will be auto reloaded, auto included also. Let's see, uh, we have red. And then we have admin panel provider. We go to this one. Blue. Okay. It's auto reloaded. Nah, this uh, part is the first one that I will always like to set up when we working in the filament projects. Because if you wasting your time reloading things, it will be not very fun, I think. So let's see. Red. Okay. It's work. Okay. We'll go to blue again because I like blue. Uh, if you want to know the variation of the color, there is so many things here. So uh, I think this is the version four of the Tailwind. There's an, a lot of other colors, indigo, sky, purple, and whatever you guys want to try. Let's try sky. Yeah, this sky is like this, but I think I will stick in blue because I like blue, okay. This is uh, the first one, and let's commit these things close. And as usual, I would like to create a documentation folder. So we can use AI to create a documentation. Right? Uh, I hope you guys uh, know this. So we have this change, uh, and then I would like to write a documentation of what has been changed. So, so not only a git message, but also the details. So when you guys ask me, I can give you the markdown files. So let's see. Uh, can the AI understand uh, what I have changed? And can the AI help me write this documentation into a good uh, proper documentation? Okay. Uh, read the change. The 
file change in this branch and make documentation of what I do into this file so we can mention files docs uh, into I forgot uh, how we mention file in VS Code uh, what we are using docs okay into docs slash zero one uh, auto setup auto reload.md yeah so if you get so lazy <laughs> working with documentation you should use ai so they can read your code change and then we can create a some kind of summary of what has been changed and we can make this into a tutorial <laughs> right okay blah blah, blah. okay 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 so when i want to make a tutorial about this then i will pick this uh, markdown files and then throw it into another ai agents and make it into a proper tutorial so it will be good for me in the future when you guys asking me about how i can do this and how i can do that so it make me make easier for me in the future all right, that's the first one to do. Uh, auto reload. So it's auto reload is improve your efficiency while coding, guys. And then there's another thing. Uh, I will also like to always have Laravel debug bar. This one. I hope this works in filament version four. Let's set it up. Uh, okay. I should have split this branch, I think. Zero to Laravel debug bar. We can do things like this because I would like to teach you something how to do things. I do it like this, but when I work with AI, I will uh, reverse the process. I will ask them to create the documentation and plan, then write the plan, then execute the code. But this one is uh, in a, in a opposite way. Okay, uh, we can add these things. Okay, here. Add the debug bar, uh, then set the app debug to true. Dot env. All right, where is my dot env? Okay, I'm still using SQL Lite. Okay, it's okay. The app debug is true. Laravel with auto discovery for Laravel at the service provider. Okay, I think Laravel will. If you don't use, okay, I do not know uh, whether this project use auto discovery or not, but let's use this for Laravel eleven or newer providers.php okay we're gonna add these things if you want to use the facet to log message uh, okay i don't think this is necessary with the laravel octane i will use octane in some future because i'll always use uh, I have a course about a Laravel uh, deployment with Franken PHP, and we use Octane. This will be very useful later. But because I have not used it yet, so let's focus on this one. Uh, package config local. Okay, 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 okay. Let's try. It's sorry, sorry. Oh, okay. We publish the config to the debug bar. This one. Okay. The usage and everything is, I think, is okay. Nah, uh, the process uh, of setting up the bug bar will make your app slower than the usual way. 
but because this is an, a development mode it is very important so only use uh, debug bar on the development guys do not use in the production so if you need to do to enable it in uh, production make another server make a server for staging or something like that so this is the second thing that i would like to do but uh, let's make this also updated zero two set up uh, laravel debug bar file change Mm, make the comments of what I do, but makes it not only read the file chains, uh, but also uh, and the terminal. Okay, let's see. Uh, can in there I do this? Yeah, uh, you should use AI, but uh, you should also know that AI using a lot of water resources. So please be careful and be mindful when using AI. Uh, I realized that some research shows that AI use so many water resources and make drought in the another uh, in the data centers area. So please, when AI make you productive, but make sure that you make it uh, doing it uh, responsibly. Okay, let's see. Uh, set up Laravel debug bar documentation. Mm -hmm. Bootstrap. Publish debug bar. Uh, okay. Publish file. Okay. Okay. Okay, this is good. Uh, so we keep this and we can make a commit. Publish the branch. And I think that's uh, for today's videos, guys. So at least you get the how do you get the pattern of thinking how uh, we now develop with ai and how we can optimize the ai for our goals and be responsible uh, when working with ai okay we can compare and pull requests and then create the pull request this is the common the common workflows that uh, can be happen when you are working with in a project on Laravel. So that's it guys for today. Uh, you guys already learned about how to use Laravel Boost. Uh, you know in these videos you learn how I set up my filament projects for the pro the to improve my productivity. So to the recap, use always use auto reload and use Laravel debug bar only in the development mode when you are going to publish it or you're going to a production please disable the debug bar and only install uh, uh, the skip skip the dependencies uh dev dependencies when you are uh, publishing for a production okay that's it guys if you guys like these videos and you want more to know more about these videos uh, about filament about programming about flutter or everything don't forget to like and subscribe these videos enable the notification I will like I will try to post daily about uh, filament PHP and how I develop and how I can get another best practice from another people and make uh, integrate to my workflow. So happy to see you guys here and I will, will be very happy if you guys come back again and watch the videos and subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next videos.